skipper of Kailani. At the moment she, she's moored up in the Polichangani Marina in Pulau Duyong and that's our home base. We have uh, two large double cabins with each with their own ensuite bathroom with a king size bed in each one. One of the cabins has the option for a, a single mattress and so for one extra person to sleep. There's bean bags in there too so there's a nice sitting area if the person's not sleeping there. And there's a kitchen with a dining table and uh, on the outside we have bean bags and chill out space near the helm. Yeah, we slow down. The closest island to Kualtrungano is Pulau Kapas. That takes us about one hour. And uh, from Kapas to, say, Ridang is about a four and a half to five hour cruise. One of the main things we do aboard Kailani is uh, island hopping. We spend days going between the beautiful islands along the east coast of Malaysia, from Kapas to Radang, Langtanga, Pahantian. Any of these islands, people can make their choice as to where exactly they want to go. can be amazing. I mean, the last trip we did out to Rudang, we saw sharks, big, big turtles. I mean, occasionally, we did last trip we didn't see them, but occasionally we see dolphins. They're always a pleasant, pleasant surprise when they come up next to the boat. For divers, if people want to dive in there, we're going out for many days at a time. On the various islands, there's rental for dive equipment. <laughs> want to go out for an afternoon and do a sunset cruise we can also arrange that from Paul Trungana Marina out to say Kapas Island and back again that's a nice evening cruise if people fly into Paul Trungana we can arrange transport to pick you up from the airport 